KSM show. Hello, I'm Michael Spiogabra, a former minister of trade and industry in Ghana, and I recommend that you watch the KSM show, one of the best shows in Ghana and Africa, and whoever you are and wherever you are watching this program around the world, keep tuned to KSM and don't change your dial, don't switch your set. We're back, we're back, and we're back with uh, Honorable Kofi Amabua, and uh, we're talking about uh, yes. getting into politics yes. and... Um, and all the intentions all that the, must turn up. To don't be yeah. And I always give the, uh, the the history of, for example, the uh, first I started something called the mobile clinic. And the idea was that there, there wasn't too much uh, clinics at the time in 2009 in a lot of the villages. And I thought that, okay, we should be able to do that. I mean, I cannot uh, recount the frustrations I got. I went to Ghana mm. Health Service. I went everywhere mm. at the time. Uh, well, the insurance will not cover a mobile clinic and all of that. Mm. Well, finally, you got it going. I, got, I got it going. Okay. And I think the process, I, I'm happy that today um, we've left from three chief centers to about 33 chief centers in the district. Wow. Which is a lot of progress mm -hmm. to the extent that we don't really even need a mobile clinic mm. today. Uh, when, when I wanted to, and the story about how I established the elderly care center was one interesting one. I was going on a campaign, I walk in a house uh, that I thought was empty, only to find out that there's an old lady in a house, everybody's gone, it's 3 p.m., he's not eating, taking a shower. And guess what? This is somebody who has worked and retired, a matron. And I met the elder and I said, we need to find out how many people are in such a condition mm. and we will shock you. Mm. There's a real neglect of the elderly mm. in Ghana. Mm. You know, we have always assumed that our social networks. Yeah, we take care of the elderly. You even have a saying. And you know, we call them and when they get old, right? Yeah. No, guess what? They are not. These people, all they needed. And they almost uh, 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 five years of running the elderly care center has taught me. All they wanted was a place where they could live go meet old friends and talk about old time and mm. laugh again. Mm. And guess what? So many people who have been on the program are amazingly doing very well. So, so it made you set up that That's correct. community center That's correct. for the elderly. That's correct. We've taken care of over 10,000 since its establishment. Wow. 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 And I know you have like a bus service that picks yes. up the elderly. So it's a day program. Uh, the, we've already identified the communities and we will normally inform them when their timetable. Um, some of them know it. That, oh, next Monday I'm at uh, the other second. And, mm. they go. and you know, they have a lot of things they don't dress to go anywhere. They get a chance to now dress and look good. And come to the community center. And go and talk about old time. Wow. And, and have some coffee. And it's so many people that we thought were sick were not really sick. They just wanted to chat and laugh and wow. talk about. And it's, it's been amazing. You know my dream? I pray that this will be in every district in Ghana. Every district I pray. Have, a, have a center for them. It, yeah. it is needed. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the, the, the pictures we are seeing are yes, really, yes, yes. You, you really took your time to lay it out yes. and make it like a very... If you are going to make anything successful, you have to make sure that people understand the intention mm. and then let them know that, yes, I'm a politician. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But listen, this is not about NDC or MPP. You know? How difficult is that, though? Because it's, it's, that's, that's all we think, that label. It's a tough one. Yeah. I mean, one of the reasons at some point I thought I wanted to quit was that it is a very difficult one. And that's why I, I think that we probably need to find a way to change our politics. But what you do is that you have to be consistent enough to convince people that what you are doing is not really, really for the benefit mm. of only one group yeah, or the other. Yeah, yeah. You know, I wanted to establish this food bank. I've seen the food bank work in other countries. I wanted to establish it. And I thought through it. And I knew that if I go and establish this food bank, and I don't really get the right stakeholders to take over, it will not work. It won't work. So I started going to all the churches, meeting pastors, 
to explain to them. So you sort of identified the key, right, yeah, the key stakeholders who will sustain it. So who are the pastors? The uh, pastors, the, the imams, the mosque leaders, the chiefs of the towns, assembly members. And, and then I, I, I went to the assembly, the DC. I went to the district assembly. I said, listen, I have this idea. But I don't want to do it because I'm in DC. Because, you know, Very it has important. to, it has to be. Because immediately, what do you think is as then it's a party agenda? You know what? You can start that good intention. Some, some small chairman somewhere will say, hey, my friend, don't come here. So, you know, and I, I'm very happy that stakeholders bought into it. And I'm very happy we established it. I know it is going to succeed because the people who are leading it are really not political. Yeah. 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 And that, to me, is what we that's the be key pushing. thing. There. But the interesting thing, though, too, is because um, when when you put the community yeah. uh, hostel together for the for the elderly, yeah. yes, COVID sort of affected. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, as we speak, we had yeah. to suspend the elderly program temporarily. Temporarily, because, because um, uh, you know they are very high risk, and. Uh, and, but the timing for the food bank was good. Exactly, because, because you decided that, you know, so let me get into the food bank since I can't get yes. it together. We, 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 the, all these old people are home. How do we get to support them in these difficult times? And I, I, I feel strongly that all we have to be talking about now in Ghana, period, TV, everywhere, is everybody should be talking about what are we doing to help one another in these mm. difficult times. Mm. That's all. And so uh, I'm very happy that our first beneficiaries was basically going to all these old people who are home mm. and making sure that we can give them food. Mm. And, you know, the, I think I already explained to you the concept. Yeah, the food bank. bank. Yeah. A bank, you, you know, Kofi puts the money. Ama put his money. Kojo put his money. So that when a, 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 a fear is hot, he goes there and says, please borrow. Let me borrow some of the money that is there. Same concept. But this one Everybody in the whole district is going to drop something, whether at the center or the mobile van will pick it up. Because, you know, at a particular time, every time, in Ghana, 1.5 million people go to bed hungry every day. <laughs> That's what my statistics, Ghana start, start service. So if, if, if you are okay now, I mean, you don't have to be rich. You can drop one side in there. Drop one tin and part there. Drop one. And uh, so far, what, what has the reaction Amazing been? Amazing response. Wow. Amazing response. You know, just yesterday, I got a call. This lady who saw the opening. She's far away in Chicago. She's not even from Elembele. She, she saw it and said, this is something amazing because I, I saw it. And I want to send 150. She sent it to the committee. You know, they bought a few bags of rice. Uh, and, and basically, I'm sure that the last time I checked, we have over so much uh, bags of rice that is going around. Uh, already, so the elderly, elderly uh, have it, the orphanage has it. Now okay. we are coming with modalities on how assembly members and the community leaders can identify. Already, we are using the leap uh, and, uh, numbers mm -hmm. as a starting point. Uh, and I believe that if we do it that way, it will be sustained for a long time. And the mm. churches have already taken over. You know how if a pastor says that, hey, <laughs> God wants you to really give for the needy. I mean, the church members will support. Mm. And I think that... I so think, what kind of stuff there? Is it, is it sardine, rice, every, yeah, you know, any, uh, everything? Actually, the... we have freezers, so they already make sure that we okay. have freezers and all that there. Okay. But I think that for starters, it is always best, best to have non-perishable foods. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Non-perishable food. Mm -hmm. Don't go and bring us some acratia that is <laughs> spoiling. Uh, spoil uh, boy, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. But it, it makes a big difference mm -hmm. because... Uh, I'm thinking about this. Have you thought about maybe nationally or every district have, mm -hmm. having sending up a you know, food bank? I, I called some of the private sector people who are doing some great, great stuff. And I told them that, you know, uh, this... You're building an emergency center. I think it's amazing. And I've seen a lot of uh, donations to the fund, millions. But I wish that we have 20 centers in Accra mm. where people, ordinary people, can, we, can just go drop food. Drop food. I mean, I think that is one of the weaknesses we have in our system. Mm. Uh, we, 
Uh, maybe we have to be doing that. How government must create the avenue for Ghanaians to do things for ourselves. Mm. You know, in, a, in this whole COVID, I think what we should be doing is creating avenues for Ghanaians to give. I mean, everybody drop. You know, I saw this drive through in some of the countries where people are just driving and dropping, dropping a bag stuff. of rice. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. Six million between Accra and Kumasi. Yeah. And we have 40 food banks. I know it's difficult, but trust me, people have some inner uh, sense to do good. Yeah. And if they are sure that it's going to go to people who are really in need, they will do, do it. They will do it. Yeah. They will do it. I yeah. Yeah. And I guess the sky is... Uh, and with that scan, it's the issue of trust. Yeah. Who's going to be handling it and how is it going to be distributed? Is it going to be, become a partisan thing or uh, some agenda to go with it? Where do you find people that, like you're doing right now, you have yeah. started, yeah. you know, yeah. and you, you started by getting in touch with certain stakeholders that will get the appreciation that this is for the cause of the community and not yeah. the partisan thing. Yeah. How, we, we, how do you we, guarantee that? Yeah, I think that what, what you have to do is that if you are leading such a thing, you must act and do things in a way for people to begin, even those who do not believe, for people to begin to, to say, mm, I don't trust this politician, but uh, <laughs> let's try this guy. Mm. You know, I think that, you know, it's important. And that is something we have to try. Mm. And you have to be very consistent. Mm -hmm. You know, mm. it is very easy in our political atmosphere to, to, to really get into the fray and just, you know, yeah. You know, it's, it's so easy. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, you have to know who you are all the time. And I try to do that. I mean, I mean, you know, and I think that, and I've said it consistently, we can be very, very strong on our views, you know, and I have a lot of strong views about, uh, you know, this government. But trust me, I, nobody can push me into be very insulting or disrespectful. I think we can really share mm, our views mm. and basically lash out about the policies that are wrong and all the craziness they are, that is happening yeah. without being so divisive and disrespectful yeah. and that kind of We can I, do that. Yeah, yeah. And I think that to me is important. Yeah. It's a, the battle of ideas and thinking. Put your wow. ideas and thinking on the table. Isn't it? Yes. That's politics. The ideas and the things that will help win the mind and soul of people. People. That's the whole thing. That's this whole thing. I like the classification. It yeah. Help wins the minds mind and, soul and souls of, of people. people. On people. Mm. And you can only do that if you are very consistent in the things that you are doing. And, right. you know, don't just say that. But your deeds mm. must, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> wow. 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 I hear you're married with uh, two kids. Who's your wife? My wife is... Uh, Did you marry her well, in Ghana? I'm on TV. I have to say very nice things about my wife. She's <laughs> lovely. You better. My She's wife is so, so, she's, no, I've been married for over 25 years. Can you imagine? Wow. Lovely. Lovely, lovely woman. And she has put up with me for all this time. Wow. I mean, Did you meet her here or you met in this Well, place? yes. I met her here. You know... Um, What's her name? Oh, Joyce. 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 Okay. My wife is Joyce. And, you know... She was uh, coming to the first year in KNUST. And um, that's how I spotted her. You spotted her in the KNUST? Yes. <laughs> I spotted her. I said, Man, the same, you're a senior. Oh, why have I already Way gone? I'm not gone. But you know, you normally look down. You don't look up. <laughs> you don't look up. <laughs> you know. So you looked at her and you spotted Joyce. Uh, yes. And um, uh, it's amazing. Smart. Amazing. She, um, what did mm. she study? Uh, Joyce uh, did economics. Okay. Uh, she's into numbers and she's very smart. She, wow. Uh, very so at what point did you make your move? You know, it was a very easy decision uh, for me, F uh, frankly. Uh, I... No, you don't want to know all that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, uh, you know well, uh, they I finally mm -hmm. got it. And um, <laughs> um, got married and... Um, she joined me in the States and... Uh, oh, she had, joined you in the States? Yes. Okay. we had two lovely kids. So you had your kids in the States? Yes, please. Oh, yes, who are please. they? Oh, uh, the, I, my son is uh, 
Benjamin Boa, I call him Benny Boa. Benny Boa? Yes, uh, after my, my dad, who that okay. I never saw, you know. And uh, very fantastic, uh, interesting guy. You know, he says to me that the only thing I would never do is politics. That's what Benny says? Yes. Really? I said, Benny, why? He said, you know why? A, a bunch of people every day around talking plenty. <laughs> So that excites him. Uh, yeah, well, he said that's not for him. But I'm sure he, he will make his decisions. Oh, okay, okay. He'll make his decisions. Oh, he says he will never do politics. He says, no, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's okay. the only thing he will never do. That's the only and thing he will never, never do. do. He will never do that. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Who's the other one? That's Benny. Bethany. Bethany. He's Bethany. At, uh, yeah. Bethany Boa. Uh, and the mobile Boa. She's uh, my, my, my guardian angel. I mean, mm -hmm. she's the guy everybody goes through when when everything is not working and you want to get to that, you go to Bethany because you know I can't say no to you her. You can't say no, really? Yeah. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. You're based, they're all based in Accra now? Yes, yeah, they're all based here. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic, yes, man. Yes, 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 yes. Fantastic. So do you do engagements every now and then in your community? Oh, yeah. Performing? You know, you know I, I, I think one of the things that I've learned and that is important is that your, the people that you represent, I think it's important that you engage them all the time. Mm. You know, they want to feel you. Mm. They mm. want to see you. Yeah. They, yeah. Want to, they want to be sure that you are with them. So you have to try as much as possible. It's difficult, especially when you are a minister of state, yeah. Yeah. managing huge portfolio. Yeah. And, you know, and I've had my share of those. And trying to be MP at the same time, yeah, really, I, I think it's, yeah, it's a yeah, tough one. But yeah. you have to find the balance because they don't, they don't care that you are a minister. No. They know you are the MP. That, so you that's have, all it's, that's no, important. No, you have to make the time. We're MP, yes. We're yes. MP, uh, so mm. make it time. Yeah. And when you visit a typical village, trust me, you can chop all your posts in parliament. <laughs> I'm not going to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they sent you, and, wow. you know. Uh, you, you know, they feel like uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, they, they are the ones that sent you, mm -hmm. and they don't need too much. They want you to engage them, and okay. they want you to level with them. Yeah. And I think that's important. Do you have any thoughts that you could be the next Mugabe in the area? Because I am becoming. I know you, 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 uh, you've gone three times already, and the fourth time, well, you had said you were not going again. Well, uh, yes, I, in fact, I was so sure I wasn't going. This time around, I, I, I've said that don't blame me because. Uh, my my branch people picked the form, paid for it, and I had no choice. And all the candidates, almost six candidates who were running, dropped as soon as my they they saw my name in the thing. They dropped. Yeah, quickly, quickly. Wow. And then there was one guy who wanted to try his luck, and who was basically a butcher. <laughs> he had less than ten percent. <laughs> <laughs> ah, wow. So you yeah. see yourself. Uh, a Mugabe coming. Yeah, well, I, a Mugabe I, I hope it's not Mugabe. No, I think no, I think that you have to know when it's time to. Uh, okay. Pick up. I'm sure I'll, I'll find that time. I'm sure it will come. Sure, so love one more time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but it feels good uh, when I can just forget about my suit and tie and actually and be relax. here and relax. Yeah, yeah. And you know, don't take life too seriously. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we look at the times we're in this pandemic. Yes. And um, the number of deaths on a daily basis mm -hmm, mm -hmm. across the world. Mm -hmm. In wrapping up, now yes. that you brought this, in wrapping up, the world post-COVID-19 yes. is going to be some different world, totally. Well, how do you see yourself campaigning? Is you, are you going to go house to house still? Do you, there's not going to be that mass gathering at this one. I don't know. But what do you see as the future for post covid and what message do you want to send to Ghana and to your constituents? Yeah. And let's wrap up on that. I, I think that uh, uh, it, it is time for us as a country to basically understand that the world has changed completely. Mm. You know, it has changed completely. And we have to, especially people in leadership, mm. who have to understand it. You know, I am... I am Tempted not to get into politics. You know, I promise you that today, when I come, I don't want to talk politics. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I do too we much. I tried as, as much I, as I possible tried. not to. But you know, for yeah. example, I want to see anybody leading this country to be saying things that bring people together. 
that makes people get hope. Mm -hmm. That makes people feel that there's something they can do. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. This is really the time to have that leadership. Because the problems that we are going to have after COVID, God willing, are just staring us in our faces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We already knew the challenges we had with our economy. We already knew our debt levels. We moved from 120 to over 235 billion. I mean, unsustainable. We can't even service our debts mm. as we speak. Now, the issue of employment for our team in youth is now even going to get worse. So now is the time to basically begin to think about how do we change our politics, that divisive politics. Yeah. And let me be frank, and I can't help but let me tell you something. Yeah. One of the reasons why I loved working with former President Mahama was that even in the midst of everything, you will see that his sense and his tone of dealing with people, uh, it's, it's what is important. You understand what I mean? And I, I, I'm saying that it is important. It is important that we now bring everybody... A unifier. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Very, very, to bring us together. And, and I mean, I'm not sitting here campaigning, but I'm saying this is the time. So, for example, if you ask me to advise... Uh, our vice president, I'll say, vice president, I'm sure that he dropped the ball the other day. But listen, going forward, please use that powerful platform to, unify. to bring us together. Very important. Show some love, man. <laughs> Show some love, man. Wow. 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 Well, honorable. Yeah. Um, I'm going to end it here, but it's been an amazing experience, you know. And, and what I like about you is you're deep. You relax, you flow like, you know, but you, you have a deep, oh, powerful oh, message. thank you. But and the fact that you can take the microphone and no, sing. No, no, I can do that, it. That's, that's what but I can me. do it. No, but let me, let me <laughs> commend you. I mean, I was going to ask you a question, but I have to ask before I leave you. <laughs> yeah. How have you been, how do you reinvent yourself for all these years? I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? You should have been rel irrelevant by now. Yeah. I mean, I've seen shows that don't last for one month. Yeah. And KSM show keep. Living on. Yeah. I mean, yeah. how do you do that? Well, I do. And also, also yeah. I realize you've not been caught up in the political thing. By now, we should have been labeling you for <laughs> 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 how, how have you have survived? Well, the labels are there. I just don't even pay attention to them. Oh, my oh, God. The labels, that's that's the labels are there. Plenty. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not my focus, you know. Once, once you are not going to go out and say, KSM is a rapist, he's a con man, he's breaking the... No, no, no. If you label me politically, it's not a crime. Wherever you think I belong, that's fine, you know. But I haven't committed a crime. What I do is to stay focused oh and, my God. And, and keep people <laughs> keep making people happy every Friday evening. And tonight, honorable, you've really you've really thank you. brought some thank you. Some flavor, thank you know. You. Thank you. And uh, I also thank you thank for you so showing much. up, for singing for us. And we are amazed how many people will be like, hey, oh no. And, uh, and, and let me thank and you. The, you are and amazing. The I mean, they are I mean, I mean, but I'm tempted to do one more song with you. Let's do one more huh? song. Let's do one are more song. Are you ready? Yeah. You're ready? Okay. One more song. Okay. Can you do? Oh, pirates, yes, they run by. So I to the merchant ships. Minute after they took I. And my hand was made strong In the hands of the Almighty We forward in this generation <laughs> Will you help me sing These songs of freedom Because I have a Yourself from the captivity, then let ourselves go free our mind. We forward in this generation, triumphant. Will you help 
to sing his songs so, of so freedom. Zavad, redemption song. Redemption song. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. Then better ourselves can free our mind. <laughs> How long shall they kill our prophet as we stand aside and look? Say it's just a part of it. Got to fulfill the book. Won't you help to sing? It's songs of freedom. All I have had. Man, this is beautiful. Kofi, thank you so much. No, this is Sorry, lovely. Should I say honorable? I can say Kofi. Oh, why? This is this is your studio, this man. This is your studio. I can just say anything. It can't even be, yeah. I won't call you to the committee. No, I won't go for I the won't, privileges. I won't go for the privileges. <laughs> In fact, I'm just, a member of the privileges, so, so I can just wall you over there. <laughs> just a round to Kofi, man. And Kofi had a wonderful time. And, um, for me, uh, it was very, very exciting bringing him to the studio. And I like, uh, honestly, I like people like this, you know, not to take life so seriously. Hey, uh, you want me to come and sing on the show? What will my constituents sing? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. well, well, they should like my song if they don't like it. Well, yeah, well, well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much. And I thought we'd come back next week with a more fire. Stay with the KSM show. And that's the only reason we have been numero uno. So until we come back next week, let me say a big thank you to all those who are probably associated with us. I'm talking about Cactus Creek, and I'm talking about Irata Motors. And until then, in the meantime, in between time, KSM with the Honorable signing off saying, Honorable, join me. We are out of here.